so people we're back for the final stream hopefully final stream yes uh, odal is the dark call yes and things are looking pretty good here yeah things are looking pretty good so uh people who are either watching this on youtube or remember all the numbers from last stream we'll see that our money count is way higher than or, or orbs count so to speak um i uh did a little bit of farming since we realized that we will need to uh, use the upgrades for um for the final boss yeah so i did a little bit of farming just rerunning the intro for the final dungeon basically over and over um yeah. so we should be ready now with the uh to take on the final boss yeah. however we're gonna go and try and get some uh, inventory upgrades first. Yes. Because that will help us uh, be able to use more power ups yeah. in the final battle. So that's where we're at. I noticed we've been playing for 8 hours and 17 minutes. That's definitely more than I thought we were going to spend on this game. I yeah. thought it was around like 5 or 6 hours. Maybe yeah. we just suck. Yeah, it could be that. Or uh, I did add another 30 minutes now this uh, afternoon oh, yeah. as well. So. Yeah. So last time we ended on the final boss, but this time we're just gonna exit or go to uh, see if we can find some more secrets. Yeah, so we have um, some areas where we haven't found all secrets. Yeah. Um, and we don't know where any of these are. But nope. Maybe we should go for the ones that have the most, the highest amount of secrets. Yeah, I think uh, the Dark Forest, we only have three out of six, so... Yeah, and that's the for second level. Yep. Isaac is starting to play. We play every other life. Yes. And we we have no idea what we're looking for. We're just gonna um... just gonna go through some of these levels. See if we can uh, find some more inventory. If we can't, we'll go for the boss anyways. Hopefully, we can get a little bit stronger before we yeah. have to take him on. And the last time we played uh, this level, we didn't have any army of the armor upgrades. We didn't have the sword. Yeah. And the dash, the double jump. So there's so much more stuff that we are able to do. Yeah, exactly. And uh, hello, the Strahl, and hello, Manaspert. Nice yes. to see both of you. The Strahl and Manaspert, hello. Uh, the Strahl, are you the, the speedrunner Strahl? 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 I for sure recognize him from the, with them from the uh, Discord. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Yeah, oh, welcome. Uh, you too. Uh, and uh, what happened last week is that the developer of the game <laughs> went out and said thank you for playing our game. Oh yeah, did a little uh, YouTube comment. Yeah, well, that's kind of uh, him or them to notice. Yeah. And uh, yeah, all of that. Can't remember us being here. Okay. I think we've been here. Okay. Not so much. Um, so that's nice of them to notice that we are playing their game. Yep. It's always nice. Um, so sort of... Oh, you just fell down or what are you doing here? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm just following a random path. You're almost getting killed. Look at that! There's a heart upgrade. Secret right off the bat. Ah, I need the block with you. Yeah, that's. I think you should push it down all these. Yeah, after all these holes I made now. Yeah, yeah. What have you been up to the last week? Uh, it's been a bit of a mix of uh, some development, some publishing, uh, a lot of secrets. A lot of secrets. Uh, yeah. Unlockable secrets? No, unfortunately not. Uh, that we um, just today we're working on a dialogue system as well for our yes people, which, that's uh, so exciting yeah so we kind of just got it in there before i started the stream yeah so we have this game we've been working on and we uh, so far it's only been centered around gameplay and story and art and we haven't we haven't had any dialogue at all we just had a system that we implemented last year or so yeah which we didn't spend any more time on but now we made it made sure that it works better hopefully it's still a test yeah and uh, it's gonna be interesting to see and then afterwards you implement and i i saw it i immediately had a crazy idea what was that 
Oh yeah, you brought up voice acting. Yeah. Uh, look, look how uh, the um, splash hides to play a character. Mm -hmm. We struggle with that in uh, Elvis Legacy a lot. Yeah. Yeah, we also had to make sure that the uh, the character was somewhere, not behind the box. I think we got it uh, almost every single time. Yeah. So much work going through uh, trying to um, make sure that the characters weren't hidden behind dialogue boxes. But now in our current Wait. game we're all working on, the dialogue text will appear at the bottom of the screen. So far. So far. <laughs> Not hiding anything at all. Yeah. So, okay, so we got a secret, which is good. And then we looped around here, and that's a secret, too. Should be a secret here as well, right? Like... Evil face guy. Are these secrets? I would assume so. Since, uh... Yeah, since has they to be. kind of yeah. a lock of sorts. Good. Mm -hmm. Well, it helped. This always good. We struggled a lot on the final boss. Yeah, we really got stuck in it, but we did figure out the strategy right at the end. Um, so hopefully we can continue. Hopefully the strategy works this time around. It's yeah. around using the uh, the power up we got from uh, fighting the little mini boss um, armor yeah. upgrade. Yeah, which should help us. And now we're just continuing trying to find more secrets. Should be one more then, I guess. Mm, yeah. If we found, if we so. had the three out of six. And... Right. Yeah. So I feel like the last one should be a uh, inventory upgrade. Oh, okay. Quick reflexes. Um. Yeah. So. See what we can find. Some backpack would be good. We probably found that already. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, there must have been a secret up there that we got. Yeah. yeah. Interesting, because you wouldn't know. Yeah. It, it kind of makes sense now if you look at it, but yeah. I like it when games have something to show that you have been there. Yeah. Like Super Mario 64 has the blue stars. Yeah, instead of regular stars, always, uh, always nice. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. We had a discussion with another game with collectibles that once you go back trying to find everything, it's kind of hard to know if you're missing some yeah. sort of clue or something else. It feels like uh, somewhere around here we should be able to do a double jump or dash. Or something. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing in the open areas should be where we haven't found everything yet. Hello, Smore McClough. So, uh, how are you guys been uh, celebrating Halloween in the chat? Have you, have you celebrated Halloween at all? And did you do anything crazy or spooky? Did you do anything special on uh, Halloween, Michael? Uh, I didn't. I don't think. I was a bit confused because it's 31st, 31st of October. It's, it's, I think it's US Halloween. Yeah. But then yesterday it was. Some sort of Halloween as well. The, yeah, November first. Mm, I think that's. Uh, I can't remember, but that's it, the Swedish hol not holiday. There's something in Sweden on the first of November, yeah. right? And yeah. then there's something on Saturday as well. That's Saturdays when people tend to have Halloween parties in Sweden. Yeah. Because we don't have the we don't have the Halloween off here. It's not an official holiday. Yeah. But that would make it uh, three. Three Halloweens in one week, which is a bit confusing. Yeah. D didn't really matter because I wouldn't have done anything yet. My son had a Halloween party. Oh. Uh, well, he's three, so we must have this daycare. Okay, yeah. Those no and we, we, me and my wife went for the easiest option, just to buy him some sort of skeleton outfit. Yep. Which would fit. A classic that works. Classic that mm -hmm. works. What was funny though, that uh, the uh, out of this group of like 18 kids, I think or so, mm -hmm. Six other parents had that exact same idea. Mm. <laughs> so I saw a picture, picture the other day, and there was like six, six skeletons and one <laughs> fireman, and then everyone was just wearing other way, way clothes. So we had, oh, so we had the easy way out. We've never been here, right? We've never been here, no. That's interesting. Uh, but besides that, no, I haven't done anything um, special. But you were in this array as well. Yeah, I was in this array. It was, uh, it was fun. We had a new haunted house over there. Uh, Liseberg is uh, an amusement park here in Sweden. I think uh, 
you can compare it to Six Flags if you're American. And uh, yeah, they had a new uh, horror um, room or what do you call yeah. it? Yeah. Did you go? Yeah. Was that the wait. one that was in the papers about being so scary that you, were, you weren't allowed under the age of 18 or something like that? It was 15 on this one. Okay, 11 so on the, one. the other ones. Was it that scary? It was... Um, they definitely scared, like, uh, jump scared you, so to speak. Um, okay. It was very graphic. Well, I keep messing up on these. It was very graphic. Really? A lot of uh, blood and... Um, body bags and stuff like that, so uh, scary. it's extremely gruesome. I was very impressed by it. So my three-year-old won't appreciate it then. I mean, you never know until you try. Uh, <laughs> and I'm always going to. <laughs> but yeah, they did something, and usually they, uh, they tell people to hold each other's shoulders when you walk yeah. through. But for this one, you, they just let everybody walk free. Oh. I don't know if that was a secret or not. Is this a secret? Okay, I might go this Sunday. Yeah. Uh, I was speaking to my um, oh, the the word always eludes me. My my wife's brother's wife. My wife's um, brother's wife. Is that brother-in-law? No, the wife. Uh, my brother-in-law's wife. What's that? Brother-in-law's wife. I don't know. I don't think there is any name for that. Is there? It's. Caroline, Caroline. Yeah. So she's married to my wife's brother. Is there a name for that kinship? I don't know. Maybe there is some name, but okay. yeah. Well, she might be going on Sunday, and uh, we might tag along. Right. I'm not sure if we are. But that would be fun. Yeah, it was a long line for that, uh, for us, or for all of them. Yeah. I think it was like between a, one to two hours wait time. Yeah. But now I'm a boring parent, so I, I can just go to the um, Canon Landet to yeah. channel the kitty rides. Yeah, that's uh... Is this where we met Mark? Yeah, it is. So maybe we should go up here. I don't know if we've been up here. It's brother-in-law. Yeah, but brother-in-law's wife. Wouldn't that make it another word? Or am I missing something? I don't know how that works. No. Um... Okay, so... What if they're... An... What if they are an outlaw, though? Then it's an outlaw brother-in-law. Outlaw? Or a brother and outlaw. Outlaw is like yeah, a criminal. Yeah, I know, but... I should go, go down here, right? Uh... No. Like... Yeah, you should. Okay, so... Or I guess you should just try and find some secrets, because I already went down the path to right here and got the secret. Yeah. So now it's finding the, uh, the other two remaining ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, should we... Yeah, I'm just gonna... It's been a week since I last played, so I'm a bit rusty. Yeah, I have some uh, warm-up, which uh, definitely helps for the stream. Yeah, because we tend to always play these very challenging platform games. Yeah. What are they... What are they saying? Outlaw Star, my favorite Japanese cartoon. I don't think I know about that one. Oh, no! I was uh, thinking that I would just scooch up the. Um... Yeah, it's a little bit hard to read how the, um, what the trajectory is gonna be when you ride on these tracks. Yeah. Let's see where... Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, these are complicated. Gotta make sure you do the Donkey Kong jump at the very end of the. Um... Track. Yeah. There's a lot of ores, friends. Yeah, I mentioned that at the beginning of the stream. I did some uh, ore farming for this. There's no no hacks involved in this, but uh, a lot of uh, off-stream grinding. No game genie. Yeah. Although it's very tempting. Yeah. We did that the same thing when we did Battle Battle of Olympus year, years ago, which is great to say. Yeah, it was the, it was the olives you gather in there to be able to buy the... Uh, yeah. Most logical choice of... Um... What was in here? Because I remember... Oh, we came That's that right. Way. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, sure. Me trying to, um, and we 
Okay. Maybe there could be some secrets hidden inside of the um, spikes, you know? Okay. Oh yeah, maybe a bit too... Uh... Have they done that so far? They've done the ones for you that you break the vines, that you break with the big block. That was something, right? That, was it there cracks up there? Oh, maybe. Well, I'll, I'll go check now. <laughs> Look like that. Well, we'll continue exploring for a few more minutes, I think, and then we should uh, go for the boss on. Yeah. We did find one heart at least, and fudge, and a heart container, and a few stones. Yeah. Some of those stones. I don't know what those stones do yet, or if they're just uh, story. Uh, lore. There's some lore you find in the world. I remember, I think the first game I played that had the... What's it called? Uh, the story that you could find in the world was the uh, original Unreal. It had those little uh, data logs laying around. But I was a kid and I couldn't read, so it's just annoying every time you click on those. I don't know if it's uh, as common anymore to, to do those data logs. Yeah, audio logs I remember in, like, in Dead Space. Just yeah. listening to random people. Okay. Yeah. I do appreciate a good story, but it's um, it's not what I. Okay. Should I try to go here? I want to sure make sure we're not missing anything here on the big yeah. areas. Yeah. This map is kind of. Uh... Do we go here? I think we have, but we'll make sure. Oh yeah, I remember we went up here, right? Yeah, I think we got a heart container. Oh, okay. From this so, this one's... The last game I remember... There being audio logs was in Bioshock. Yeah, yeah. that had, uh, had those as well in it. Normally I finish games, but Bioshock actually didn't finish for some reason. Oh. No, I don't know why. I think I liked it. There's an arrow to the left there. Here? Yeah, that, uh, the sign. I just dash and jump? Yeah, I think so. Try it. Maybe you can, uh, Should I go down? Yes, so try and like... Yeah. Oh, that didn't help at all. Interesting. Should I go down? Yeah, see if you can go down that. No. Oh. Hmm. It's nothing. Confusing. Oh, look at that. Yeah. The foreground background layers. Oh. I can't remember us having that problem at any, any mm -hmm. time. Nope. Definitely not recently in our current game. Just gonna spend some money on food. Am I allowed? Yeah. I don't wanna... I don't wanna waste all the money. Here we're where you fought the penguin guy, right? Yeah. Maybe we miss something after after that. That's the penguin guy. I wanna scooch on my... Um, oh yeah, more Mario butt slide here. There you go. Oh, we must have already found it. Awkward. Yeah, he's just walking into a dark room. <laughs> oh! Some chicken. All chicken. Or chest, chest chicken. That yeah. Sound right. Oh, there were logs and uh, Pokemon Red. I don't remember that. But that game did have a, a lot of text in it, like <laughs> all RPGs. Master Plus. I didn't actually play through the last of us. Really? Yeah. None of them? Nope. Uh, I think uh, around there is where I kind of dropped off on uh, AAA titles for a while. Yeah. It's probably a struggle being a poor student. You can't afford uh, buying all the latest titles. I understand, yeah. 
I played the first one, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, the first one. Oh, fudge. But I didn't play the second one. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people like them. Maybe it's uh, one of those games I can play in the future. But I also play a lot of games with my wife back in the day. Hmm. Like, games like heavy on the story. Yeah, it's a lot more fun in, in the company, in my opinion. And, um... Oh. Um... Like Last of Us, Uncharted. Games like that. Also a lot of point and click things. Yeah. But now we're just tired parents, so we don't need to, um... I have been thinking about getting the new Monkey Island. Mm, yeah. And, and play with my wife, because... When, she's not a gamer, but for some funny reason, she, um, I played Monkey Island 1 and 2 when we met, and yep. she had played uh, 3 and 4. Oh! So we played all five of them together. Right. Um, I can't remember us fighting this guy before. I don't think so. No, we've been here, for sure. The door is open. Yeah, I am. Um, this is the loop around, but oh. um, I just got some orbs, I guess. I guess so. Uh, well, the um, the uh, latest Gallon game I would love to play, but I'm not sure. Okay, so my health is a bit. It's on the sparse side. Yeah. Lumberjack Simulator 1989. Is there an actual Lumberjack Simulator 1989? Uh, or are you just making titles up? Um, well, There's yeah, a door we, we haven't opened. That's this, for sure a secret. This definitely a secret. Uh, okay, just... Oh, mm. this place, but we already did this part. Yeah. Do you so. think we're supposed to open the door from the left side? Oh. Switch so might be over on the left, because that's how it was on the last time we stumbled upon one of these doors. Yeah, but there isn't any way where... Whoa, please respond. <laughs> you just took the straightest way. make straight sure straight they ahead. respond on camera slides. Um, no, probably. Um, maybe something in the ground? Yeah, I was thinking that as well. There's some. We haven't gone up there, huh? Have we? Here. Hmm. Or? Isn't this uh, back to the loop with the door? I think so. I think we were here. But this looks like it would be yeah. down, right? Pretty sure this at least is the door. This must be where we came from, right? Or no? I go through and check. Now we are confused. Yeah, no, I think we've been here. You think? And I can ride and see. I can always die and respawn. Die and respawn. Life hack. Yeah. This looks familiar. Yeah, it's amazing how we already forgot about this when uh, we played it for like. Oh. Oh. Just. Dramatic. Long way down. Uh -huh. Still stable. Will we make it? No. I still think we should explore, right? Should I go back? I think we should go for the card ride. And unless this leads to something useful, I think we should go for the um, boss. Yeah. At least sure. get a heart upgrade and um, some more, some warm up, I'd say. Yeah. I'd never, I didn't see that. <laughs> Looks like it's the background. Yeah. But yeah, this has been a productive week with our game, I still feel. Yep. We have some new cool um, ways to challenge the 
threat in our game, which should be interesting to explore. Yeah, definitely got some uh, tests coming up for, um, for this Friday. Yeah. Ooh, that's, like, that's for sure a secret. Yeah, should you jump off the wagon? Can yeah. you jump off the wagon? No, you should just jump and you will uh, go, go oh, up okay, there. Okay, okay. I just gotta remember which place it was at. Yeah. This time we don't have any Festus. Yeah. I have some, uh, I have some water instead. Yeah, it's more uh, inexpensive option. Yeah. This is right. Okay, it's now, I think. Yeah, good. There we go. Yeah, most certain. Oh, oh, look at that. There we go. It wasn't all for nothing. Good. That. Hmm. Whoa. Water instead of feet. Water instead of Festus. Yeah. Um, normally we go to Ica. Yeah. I got an email from that Ica the other day actually. They you had a... to stop coming by. <laughs> no, they had a beer testing. Oh. At Ica. That's a that's some fancy beer testing. It's right almost. There. So funny that I want to join just for the joke of it. Oh, backpack time. Yeah, I need to uh, crash. You need to get good. Crash, crash the cart, please. Thank you. Okay, so this is shaping up to be some good secret run. Because we'll unlock the backpacks for all of our upgrades, right? I think so, yeah. Yeah. There we go. Sneaky. So now we have one extra. Whoa. One extra wool. Yeah, one extra wool. Uh, and also an extra charge for the boss fight now, so... That's very that's good. what we were looking for. Yeah, so with it said, I think we should... Uh, yeah, I saw it as well. <laughs> Could this be the... Oh, look at this. Whoa. Look how many uh, orbs we have. Yeah. Do you, have we also stocked up on weapons? Uh, yeah. Good. So this should give us... Um, some, um, some attempts on those. Look at that! And there's the door. Alright, click the wall map. No? Oh, yeah. I just realized that we don't have to walk through anyone. Alt F4 on this. Alright, time for the final boss. When's the Festive sponsorship deal? We're working that out. Yeah. Um, we have mentioned it a couple of times in the stream. We're hoping they'll pick it up. Fun story, when I was an organizer of uh, Retro Spelsmessan, the retro game convention here in uh, Gothenburg. I had a friend who did an internship at Red Bull. Mm. So he was like, I can swing by the uh, convention with my uh, huge Red Bull car and hand out Red Bulls. Right. And this uh, started up an entire huge discussion about we should work with big corporate brands, oh. which I think is accurate and fair. Yeah. And I wasn't saying we should, I was just, here's a suggestion what we could do. Yeah. And we had a long discussion about do we really want to be affiliated with Red Bull and stuff like that, and you know, energy drinks and all that, and we came to the conclusion that uh, we didn't. Um, so we ended up not doing it. But uh, with that said, if Festus had approached approach us, yeah. we would definitely have done it. All right, so okay. uh, now we have four charges per weapon on the, with our special attack. Yeah. And uh, recall correctly, it's the axe first. You do the dash through, and then the torch upgrade. Be invincible. Hmm. Okay. So you did the practice run. We um, and we spent like an hour on this boss on our previous. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think. Yeah, this vicious prick is our son. Spoiler. Yeah. And they're both faceless. Yeah. As you can tell, they're related. Yeah. He's so he's a bit taller, right? Unsure. Uh, it might just be the posture. You should um, if you're making pixel art games, you spend a lot of time uh, doing this. Yeah. Squeezing your Sweet. eyes and, you know, checking the pixels. We've done that when we had a, some like animated just... water just the other week and was like, is this correct? And I think, judging from the discussion, it, it wasn't correct, right? No, it was, uh, we were missing a, uh, one frame was missing some pixels. 
That's some, um... Okay, so... Dash time. Yep. Wow. Easy mode. Yeah. So, uh, How much damage does that do? Because... It does a lot. Because I think it's like... We did like 20 hits or something when we actually fought him. Yeah. And it took like... Five minutes each try. Yeah. That boss hit him with one of these and he'll start crying like... Yeah. Isaac is very skilled when it comes to bosses. Which is unfortunate because we aren't making any bosses in our, uh, in our current game. So far. So far. Yeah, we never know what happens. Wow. Alright, phase three. Yeah, we made it this far. Two or three, four times, I think. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, but that was with the old strats, and this yeah. is the, the new strats. Yeah, but now we have a bit more health as well. Now he's taller than us for sure. Yeah. His, um, his groin area is the size of our. Uh... Oh, that was your. Um... Yeah, the rain is mine. Rain of terror. Easy mode. I'm glad we... I did actually use every single power-up this time. That was a good job. Alright, well that was... Uh... That was easy enough. <laughs> that was easier than expected. We... Why would we spend uh, an hour at least far where we didn't use them? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you never know. But alright, as far as we know, this is the um, this is the end. Yeah, it might be something else, but... Oh. Feels like they put some, uh, put some end sequence into this. It was a good job. Thank you. Any anyone keeps track? Isaac's been playing for like thirty six minutes, and I played for like two minutes. Writing some. Uh... Look at that. There we go. It's so what the uh, credits roll. Yeah, so we'll be ready on the. So, Daniel Deas was the developer who um, reached out, and apparently he did. Did a lot of things. It did uh, everything, everything except for user interface and story, it seems. Story and dialogue. Yes, as far as I know, I think Joy Master is a pretty small team. They, they done a lot of cool games afterwards, I know. Yeah. Similar style. Yeah, this game for sure has a uh, very nice look to it. Oh, these are the voices. The ones mm. you're mocking. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah. At, least, at least one or two. We should reach out to these people for our um, voice acting testing mm. our own game. Yeah. See if we can get some good grunts. I wonder if their voices uh, are a bit crunched in real life. Or if they add that no, on I think definitely they just sound like that. Yeah. Maybe they were born in the 80s. So, interesting to have some sort of scrolling credits where something happens of our own or just scroll text. Yeah. It's a bit boring. Yeah. Definitely makes it uh, makes people stay through the uh, through the credits yeah. to look at. Should be easy enough to do for our own games as well. Yeah, we have had some uh, creative ideas for for that. Minecrafters. Hmm. Glauber Kotaki, it's a talented pixel artist on Twitter. It's always fun to see if you can pixel prospector. Also, someone on Twitter who does a lot of cool. Um, and I'm pretty sure one of these people uh, were just in the credits. We talked to you about doing art for Alva's Legacy way back ages ago. Oh. They ended up uh, not doing it, but they went to someone else. But uh, we talked to them. It's pretty cool. Hmm. 
all our backers. Was this a Kickstarter game? Otherwise, I can't see. Yeah. Or just backers, or like just, just hang around and back them up. <laughs> the posse. Yeah. They're out on game dev conventions, like. <laughs> this is my backers. Posse. Thank you for playing. So. Yes. Oh, an achievement. The only one. What was this, what we're truly doing this for is to um, achievements. The rate, I guess that's our collection rate and not how good we played. I'm hoping so. It would be fun to um they rated us. Yeah. Ninety percent, you're not one hundred percent. Because we saved the record. Yeah, save the record. Oh. Uh. What are you gonna what are you gonna put down? Make it safe for... Uh, what, yeah, I'm, I'm putting it on. What's ep? Add the pixels. Oh. Because I'm too late to type out the whole thing. Right. Oh, Not there's like an online uh, leaderboard somewhere. Oh, maybe. Maybe we just uh, submitted this to their uh, to their stuff. So we haven't really um, prepared anything else. Um, so I, we can either continue trying to find a bit more secrets. Let's see how our... Um, stats screen look yeah or we could just go crazy and do something else but there are two backpacks and two pieces of heart one heart at least half a heart yeah but i think you need to collect two oh pieces. you get quarters i think so could be wrong should we um see how the or should we do something else i don't have anything else uh, prepared for the stream and if, we, boys. and if we close down this screen, all of your uh, mm. end of secrets. I have will... hidden my whole desktop and uh, <laughs> shut down everything work related, so yeah, it should yeah, be safe. Yeah. But... We do have a few more Steam games, I think, but I'm not sure how. Uh, not installed. Not installed. Okay, should we just continue to see if we can find a bit more hearts? Yeah, see if we can find some. Uh... There's a secret in the first area, so it should be easy enough to find. Yeah. And do you want to play? Uh... Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, yeah, yeah. Was it the Whoa. first level? Or huh? just like, yeah, this is the first level, you, you can go. You can go now, it's safe for you. It's like, uh, should we go from entrance? Yeah. I think we've explored that. No? I don't remember the first level. Be my Japanese room of smart ball for the Super NES. Yeah. Oh yeah, we should go with the right. Okay, we can put it down in our suggestions. Yeah, we would definitely want some suggestions of games to uh, play. Yeah, preferably good games and games that aren't too long. I think we talked about uh, that as well. We kind of it would be nice to show games that are uh, in development or about to be released or something. Yeah. Uh, so it's uh, games people haven't really like seen or already played through could always be. Uh, Something to promote a little. Yeah, this was more of a test to see if we still uh, had it in us to uh, play video games while talking. Yeah. Barely, I'd say. Yeah, we after these streams we're all worn out and it's take like a nap. But um, um yeah, do well, you have any ideas? I'll go this way or should I try the um, Sure, what's the proper way? I'm not sure. I think we walked the left way. Uh... I could talk to him, but I don't want to talk to him. Down here or up here? I think this is progress, right? Push this right, yeah. There. Yeah. Push it down. Yeah, I mean the maps are big, but not that big. Here, maybe. Yeah, let's check. Ah, probably. Oh uh, no! Yeah, you oh, can crouch it. It's fine. Let's remember us being here. No. So long ago too. Yeah. Yeah, I think this was in the in the longest realm of. I think eight hours a bit too long, right? I guess. But, um... but it, since we stream about two hours each week, it's it's a month for one game. Yeah. This is a secret, right? Yeah. 
that should be the last one for this area as well. Last, last secret. Oh, okay. So we need to quit the map then. Yeah. Right, cool. So we'll do like that, mm -hmm. and we'll see if it says four out of four, right? Or was it six out of six? Four out of four. Okay, cool. Four out of four. Should we? Yeah. Wasn't this the huge level though? Like the um. Maybe we should go for. Everyone is pretty. We only have one per area. As well. Go for Devil's Peak instead. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see what we can find. I'll go from seek entrance then. Sorry. Maybe we should see if we can find uh, some NES game. Some uh, home homebrew game? Yeah. Or maybe some classic. Have you ever played actually um, Mr. Gimmick? Um, the original. Yeah, yeah. I don't think so, no. Because uh, we talked about this the, um, in the other stream. Yeah, I've never yeah. played it and I know everyone loves it. Yeah, well, I've watched some gameplay of it, and it definitely looks... Uh... Looks good. Yeah, it looks good. It looks, uh... It has some mechanics in it, with the star, and... That you can jump on it and that kind of stuff. Yeah, I'm not, not sure, sure exactly. It reminds me a bit of uh, Kirby, in that sense, where it... Where it has, like, a... Easy to uh, learn and, like, hard to master kind of game. Yeah. I wonder how long... Yeah, how long to beat is the best side ever, I think. Yeah, so you can, you can schedule your entertainment. <laughs> yeah, did you see that they added that to the um, Xbox dashboard or backend or something like that? Oh, they did? Yeah, I could be wrong, uh, but I'm pretty sure that I read that uh, like the dashboard of the Xbox One or S or whatever it called added mm. like a plugin or something like that that just shows um, um, how long to beat. <laughs> Interesting. I don't think I would like that. It's a huge spoiler in every game you play. Yeah, but the thing is, I mean, people are so wary of their time nowadays. So I don't see any being any different to showing how long a movie is. Would you prefer not knowing how long a movie is? I mean, I don't. I, I, actually, I don't usually not look how long movies are. Unless I'm timed on like a night or something like that. But movies are always around two hours. Well, games can fluctuate between like an hour to 40 hours. Yeah. Oh, these were the uh, lit staff just that did something. I think we've. Uh... Am I. Did I miss something? No, I don't expect. I don't think so. Oh no! Still playing like I'm. It's the first level. But at the same time, I'm playing it like I don't have nothing to lose. If you know what I mean. Yeah. Like you can just respawn and you don't. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, this boy. dash and float is uh, insanely <laughs> good. I guess we've been here as well, right? We should stuck up on the. Uh... Oh, oh, this is some. Kind yeah, of I need to drop the big block, I think. Yeah. Well, where was that? All around here? Yeah, I should be. Yeah, that one. I guess I can. Oh. Oh, you can't jump up from there. No, I don't think so. Oh, there you go. Can, but I can't push it. Nope. Just walk around. Uh... I can't remember if we've been there though. I don't remember either. Isn't there a um, dash bug related in Elvis Legacy? If you dash by pushing a block, it gets all Yankee? Yeah, if you do it just at certain. Um, align the collision in a certain way, you can uh, definitely slide a lot. That's unfortunate. In here? Can't remember? I don't recognize the. Um, Mmm, this seems like we've been here. Maybe there's 
there's a... Yes. That's what we there. Yeah. Well, we'll continue to explore then. Oh no. Like when you get the dash in Elvis Legacy, you need to use it at all times. Yeah. Or when you forget about it, then you accidentally dash past something. Okay, so I don't really have a plan because I'm a bit confused to where I've been. So I'll just go somewhere. Yeah, I think just uh, circling around should be a um, good strat enough. A good strat enough, yeah, just follow the walls. So. We came from. Oh, yeah. There's another door here. Leading to. Twice. Isn't this where you went first? No. Uh, well, no. I went there, but I. Oh, yeah, we have help a little bit. I'm pretty sure we've been here as well. Oh, Look at nice! That. This will be needed. Yeah! That should be a last for this area. But then we're just, you know. Breezing through. Yeah, this is easy mode. So, select. Why doesn't it just set me to select location when I enter the map? So this is almost like a 100% run now. So we have one, two, three secrets left. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna go for this place, the yeah. dark forest area too. That's a good name. Anyone else feeling the Christmas spirit now that Halloween is over? Um, for sure. Um, for sure, starting. Saw Mariah Carey did a um, a tweet that exploded. Really? Yeah, so it's, it begins, and it was just her, uh, her song. Her song. Uh, making a lot of money. Exactly. I always thought, unless you were like super big, you you didn't make any money at all on um, Spotify. But apparently, you can do if you have enough streams. Yeah. I always heard that you don't make anything at all. You don't make well. I'm not gonna even attempt. Oh, look at this guy! I can't remember this guy. Screams. So, but yeah, so uh, no, I haven't really prepared anything for uh, Christmas yet. But um, we have actually been talking about me and wife doing some um, balcony lighting. Mm. So um, did some research on the internet, yeah. which is something you no know, led not too expensive. Right. The thing that neighbors always forget to turn off when you have a light blaring through your windows. I'm thinking we'll do some sort of timer, so we just you know, that night, yeah, automatically lights up on certain hours. Because it's really dark in Sweden now, and it's going to be dark for like four months. Yeah. One of the is always nice. Not so good perks about living in Sweden: constant darkness. Actually, uh, I think it's I find it cozy. Mm -hmm. But maybe yeah. I'm just a crazy person because everybody else is really seem to disagree. I love the cold, I love the snow, and I love the darkness. It's very laggy, not the snow, but the game right now. Yeah, snow is quite laggy as well. Um, I read, I saw some uh, show on SMT the other day uh, with David Batra. Because yeah. when you're my age, you get to watch SMT, which mm -hmm. is Swedish standard television or whatever you want to call it but there was this um, show about weather and they said a meteorologi me meteorologist yeah. said that in like 50 years the, the chance of having snow and a proper winter in southern Sweden is going to be gone. Crazy? Yeah. So that would mean my son is... I don't know if you count the southern Sweden though. Uh, everybody says that anything above them is northern Sweden, so it's kind of hard to say. We are definitely, if you're gonna go by, um, um, like where we are on the map, definitely yeah. on the lower half of Sweden. But yeah, because to me, southern Sweden is uh, Skåne, but um, yeah, the very, very, very southern point. Southern. Look at these guys. But I don't know. Dark in Svealand is big and cozy. You don't make you don't make a lot on Spotify, but some small spending money is realistic. Yeah. 
I'm just. I think that's how, uh, how Iron Maiden are going by their day. They get some some small spending money. Should I continue to explore this? Area? Yeah, it seemed like there were a lot of chests we hadn't seen before. I shouldn't go down there though. Not here. This is too. Oh, this is just a. Uh, if you fall down to get back up again. Oh yeah. Why is it so laggy here? Because it's always I think been... it's uh isn't this the area that has all the uh, boxes they're supposed to break later on? Uh, I'm just constantly taking hits, but I don't care. We're overpowered. Okay. Feels like I've explored everything yeah. here. I'd uh, say it's safe to assume. Safe to assume. Oh. Okay, I'll just continue um, right here. Should I just stock over up on these because we have another money? Yeah, may as well. It's always the hardest part in, uh, in games when you uh, don't do 100% from the beginning and then you have to backtrack and figure out the one place you haven't been at in uh, every single level. Yeah, and these, that looks like a boss room. Yeah. I guess we'll continue here. Let's we'll see if they're missing any cracks. Spotify has unironically paid for five cans of monster for me. It's a good. Uh... What's um? Wh who are you on Spotify? If I can ask, if you feel like sharing. Maybe this is Mariah Carey. That would be cool. Uh, should I go to the left? Yeah, I think so. Usually where the, where the secrets are at. Iron Maiden is in the chat. Yeah. It's even better than I thought it was. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was assuming Dr. Dre, but Iron Maiden is pretty big. Continue to explore. So our next stream is going to be Alva's Awakening. Oh yeah, the Evercade version. Yeah, and I'm a bit annoyed because I've seen people on Twitter get their copies and I haven't got mine. Do you know the developers? <laughs> I did get a uh, text though saying that I have to pay uh, customs. Hmm. Always welcome. Yeah, and it's like, I don't want to um, be too paranoid but any time, any any time, every time someone texts me and asks me for money, I'm a bit wary. Yeah, because it's hard to just click this link, but it's not. Yeah, well, I can't really verify any of this. Yes, yeah, it's, it's quite common scam mail get as well. It's like you have an Amazon package. That yeah. Needs to, you need to pay for customs or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Still tell. Oh, yeah, I missed this when I was here before. But yeah, I'm uh, pretty certain it's um, legit, since I'm pretty sure it's the Evercade. And I, I know it's not from the Evercade, it's from Swedish yeah. Postman who wants me to pay stuff. It's super expensive buying stuff online now with the uh, shipping and whatnot. Yeah. I normally never do, but um, if we release games... And to, uh, to clarify, we are getting copies from Evercade as well. We're getting a bunch of copies to the office, but I normally just order them private as well, just to see. 
and I ordered them from Funstock. Okay, I don't think we missed anything, but it's hard to tell. Yeah. So many uh, branching paths and... Don't remember how large the level actually is either. Can you do like a Mega Man slide? Mmm, that would be nice. Slide this over the levels. I guess it's just here for the water to go somewhere, but does it really make sense? No, does it? Because the water could just stop here in the wall. Yeah. No secret, I guess, then? I think so. No. I feel like there couldn't be one over here, because when we played this area, it was kind of stressful and uh, yeah. dangerous. Did I go down the water? Like, I did. <laughs> this guy. guides for this either so we don't know yes it's nothing up here oh. throw an axe just to make sure we still haven't tried our uh, war code for our own game oh yeah let's continue right here yeah There it is. But we found this. Oh. There is the old secret we found once before. Just to make sure it's it still sending the same text that it did on the previous stream. Yeah. We're gonna compare this to uh, Make sure there's no Easter eggs in here. Yeah. One would uh, want some sort of skip oh there is a there is a skip text. Uh, okay, I have no really no real clue where I'm going here, I guess. Seems promising. Yeah. Could it be a backpack or something exciting here? Or something we've already found? Oh no. Take a lot of hits. With the health and the amount of HP we got, there's no real danger anymore, I'd say. Yeah, with the um, the armor as well. You only take like a quarter hit every time. Yeah, we've been here. I know. Unless yeah. They're supposed to, yeah, this is this place. Decided we were talking about slope detection and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And I can't remember. Yeah. We didn't miss anything, no. But it has to be in this area, right? Feels like it. gonna do. Okay, there is where we entered. There's there. Be up here. Oh, oh fudge. Well, fudge again. Okay, we'll continue to explore. Yeah. Oh, does it not work in between? Uh, no, it wouldn't, doesn't allow me to... Okay, interesting. When you transition in between, it uh, resets it. Yeah, in Alva's Legacy, I remember we did uh, sort of shooting upwards when you jump out of war. Like, we yeah. just added some... Momentum. Down here, because I don't think we missed anything. Like the camera work. Here maybe? Near the secret, 
Yeah. Should we go for the uh what I'll be playing? Go yeah. to the dark forest area one? Yeah. Try that. We'll see, we'll see how long we continue. But uh we'll might have to admit to defeat on this uh, on this one hundred percent run. <laughs> Next stream we should uh, aim for a better time on our one hundred percent run. Yeah. Yeah, this is just our uh, practice run for our uh, upcoming speedruns of this game. <laughs> okay, so this was the area we were in before. And yeah, we should just breeze through it, I think. Let's see if we can make some sort of mental map, I think. Yeah. My uh, spontaneous idea is to get as high up as possible and uh, build the walls. Yeah. Invisible walls. Oh, interesting. We knew that angle. Well, yeah. I walked out with my back turned. You should 100% Guitar Hero be next. That's you should. Of, um, you should link that video of you playing Guitar Hero on mm. YouTube. Uh, the good old classic. Yeah, Isaac um, always wants us to each morning before our morning stand up and um, meetings. Yeah. He always makes us watch that entire thing. Yeah, I. Uh, it's part of my contract uh, <laughs> that I need to get the attention for um, playing guitar. Is it online still? Like, I, I think you showed it like once in many years ago. Yeah, but you need to search for something very like specific to get to it. Because it's uh, some random person's recording from Dreamhack. Really? Uh, where I just happen to be, be in. I actually played Guitar Hero on uh, Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh? Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. I wish it was Pittsburgh. But uh, yeah, because they have the, uh, the arcade version still around. Yeah. Yeah, I remember um, me and my wife, we uh, kind of joke around about playing a Guitar Hero 3. Because we, like everyone else at that time in the world. Yeah. <laughs> well, not everyone else, but a lot of people played yeah. Guitar Hero 3. And me and my wife were just up night after night playing. Uh, Guitar Hero, so and she thoroughly loved that game, and I did as well. All of this, and um, we jokingly, oh no, we jokingly mentioned like um, those were the best days, and we'll, we'll never have anything like that anymore. Yeah, that was like peak life for us, <laughs> just playing Guitar Hero. It doesn't matter that we married and had a son, you know. Yeah, Guitar Hero Three. Guitar Hero Three was the peak. I will say there was some uh, some good times with uh, guitar. Everybody at Guitar Hero was home as well. Yeah, it's kind of what you played when you went home to people. Yeah, I actually started with the f second one, uh, borrowed from a friend, mm. and I never owned that. So we just borrowed it and played for a lot of hours, and then we purchased the number three when it came out. Yeah, and then I think we got Rock Band, and then I was uh, I was huge on DJ Hero. Mm. That's called DJ Hero, right? Yeah, I played quite a bit of that as well. Yeah, I still have my uh, turntable. Oh, really? Yeah. Mine uh, <laughs> mine was a bit buggy from the factory. Yeah. It broke down eventually. Yeah, mine held up pretty well. And I think I almost... I wouldn't say I've experted them, but I... Um, at least finished them in hard or, you know, difficult level 3 out of 4 or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Most, most levels. Uh, but this is around the time I did actual turntable stuff for real. That was your warm-up routine, was to do uh, some DJ Hero? Yeah. The yeah, one thing I disliked about DJ Hero actually, in game design here, mm -hmm. they removed the... Um, can't fail in that game. Mm -hmm. You can only get X amount of stars. Yeah. And you can never fail, so you can go through a whole song thinking you did pretty good, and you only got two stars. Oh. And you're like, oh, I guess I failed. Uh, at the end of it, then you have to play through the whole song every time. It was kinda... Um, lost the suspense that Guitar Hero and Rock Band has. Yeah, okay. Um, we've already done this one. Yes, we've had... We have. Yeah. But yeah, then I remember like... It was Beals came out, like Rock Band Beals, because right? I got the Rock Band the first one, but then I didn't get the spin of one of a lot of them. Yeah, they did Beals. Uh, Beatles, yeah. Smith? No, Beatles. Yeah. Is that the few more right? They no? did, um, I can't remember which ones they did. I know Beatles. I can't remember if they did Rolling Stones or not, I might just misremember that. Yeah. I know Guitar Hero did Aerosmith. Yeah, that was Aerosmith, right? Yeah. 
so uh... Okay. Still no secrets. No. Uh, well to keep on trying them. Yeah. Also yeah. yeah, I did win a big chocolate at Lisseburg at one of the wheels. The uh Cloetta ones or Shakes were cut. Nice. Yeah, it was my I only played twice and I got the star win and everything. It was uh, right after it before I post. Amazing. But they're not to throw Lissabari under the bus here, but uh, the package you get is huge. Yeah, yeah. But once you open it, it will There's like it nothing in there. Yeah, there's a lot. Just plastic. But... Sorry, not plastic, but. Um, um, Carton. Yeah, cardboard. Cardboard. I was going to say cupboard. Yeah. <laughs> there's a huge cupboard in there. But. Since I play video games, I get excited for unlocking sprites on my screen, saying I got a 100%. Yeah. So I'm quite fine with the big cardboard. Yeah. Um, Good right. job. Oh. oh! There it is. How did we miss that? Mm, yeah, just... Uh, it's not even uh, hidden, it's just uh, in plain sight. Uh, rock Band Build was a thing, and Green Day, no stones though. Guitar did errors for some reason, and just before that, it melt them all and drink them, which I think he refers to Guitar Hero, of course. Yeah, melt all the Guitar Heroes. Do you have your guitar still? Uh, no, I actually don't. That one also, uh, yeah, I think we had to get rid of it at some point when it was moving. I didn't throw it away, I gave it away to probably one of my nephews or nieces. Gave it back to your respect. Yeah. I was like, here you go, guys. So it's been used, well used. Okay, two more secrets. Yeah. Well, we're here. We might as well. Where are the secrets? Pretty, 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 pretty good progress on all of our yeah secret ones. Um, yeah. I stole all of Isaac's old oh, yeah. games. Got my, uh, got all of my old ones. Yeah, I, uh, I keep, I've kept, all, kept all my. Basically, I've uh, kept every single video game I purchased since I was around ten or so. Yeah. Uh, but I've, um, I've given away my my Amiga because um, that was did do the work. Yeah. And uh, it's a funny story because uh, the reason it stopped working is because that I upgraded the the RAM. Mm. Do you know how the RAM worked uh, on these old computers? No, I never uh, interacted with an Amiga. So it's not a it's not a card with a slot in thing, right? It's like a chip with, with legs. Mm. So you have to insert a screwdriver, lift that up, and then insert a new one onto oh. the proper pins. Um, which isn't by all means any difficult, but if you're like 12 and yeah. you've done it before and you don't have the internet because this was like 92 or 3. Uh, so I actually broke off a few of the legs. <laughs> uh, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so all of a sudden my Amiga started acting weird. Uh, so it could, it could just freeze, stop working and it it's so, reset itself. Whoa. Uh, every now and then. Yeah. And then, um, then I put it in the shelf for many years. <laughs> but now, uh, when we have um, more limited space, I need to. I just threw it out because um, it did work. I actually gave it away to someone who um, fixes them. So at oh, least yeah. it found a new happy home. Uh, yeah, the axe, mm. right? But we've been here. Oh, we have been here. Yeah, yeah or something. Like that. But uh, besides that, and I have sold my Nintendo 64, which I still weep about because I had a mint condition Nintendo 64. Mm. This was my. Um, yeah, I was quite. What's it called? Pedantic. Um, what's it called? Like, neat freak. Yeah. Yeah. Pedantic. Yeah, when I was. I still am, I guess, but uh, I was more obsessed when I was a small child. So it was perfect condition and had all the cool games. And then I sold it for 1500 Swedish crowns. Mm. Console and all the games. Which sounds very low when I think about it, but... Yeah, I think it definitely varies. Right now, you don't want to look up at your old retro games that you sold back then, because those prices have skyrocketed. Yeah. And besides that, I'm my Amiga, I, and also my MSX Spectre video, which is this weird computer, which was mm. my first computer, which I... Um, 
had fears. But I gave it away the loop as well. And oh! Good, 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 good. And uh all the hard ones. So and lastly I gave away some Amiga disk drive as well. So this is the final secret? Right here. Final secret. It's almost like we're gonna go for uh I wonder how many achievements we have left. Okay. We'll check we without can... um do we have everything everything explode? Should be able to. Oh. Okay, yeah, it doesn't show up on the stream either. Oh, I don't have anything oh, uh, cool. secret we can, have, uh, we can do all the cool secret stuff on our. We're doing this. Sorry, we're doing the Steam overlay here on our yeah. just to see. So we have 21 out of 29. Okay, that might be a bit steep. Yeah, probably. This I'm assuming it's going to be like a uh, speedrun or achievement or something yeah, yeah. in there. Because they have been popping the entire game, so it feels like we've done a lot. And yeah, I wonder. It would be interesting to see which ones we have left, though. What's your thoughts on achievements? I think they're um, they're fine. I usually I used to like grind them quite a bit yeah. when they're first a thing. Uh, I like when Team Fortress 2 they tied some uh, upgrades to your characters to get achievements. So I like that when incorporated in the games. But yeah. all in all, I mean I like them. I don't get stressed out by them like yeah. that. I know some people can get kind of stressed by the fact that they have so much stuff they need to do. But I always like the uh, the extra challenge when uh, when I really like a game. I always appreciate the achievements. Yeah. Do you know back in the day that they? I'm not sure if I'm pretty sure it's gone. But on Steam you could have like a counters that a uh, meter that would uh, show up on your achievements. Oh. So I remember doing the first Steam of Dig game, like mm -hmm. when I worked with the Mission Form, and they had like destroy ten thousand blocks or something like that. Right. And then the meter actually showed up as a progress bar uh, next to oh. the achievement. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And but I think that was patched out because um, I can't th can't think of any game that actually has that anymore. Maybe oh. it's still in there. I think it uh, should still be in there. You think? Yeah, I think so. Well, actually, now that you mention it, I don't know. Because we've been setting up achievements on our own games, and I can't remember. Um... Yeah. Speaking of that, we should add achievements to our own game we're working on. That is very true. Yeah, might as well get those achievements in there. Yeah. Uh oh, I saw the dev arrow. Yeah, my uh, mouse cursor popped oh. up on the, on the camera. Yeah. But we don't have too many secrets, I guess. I don't think so either, but just the uncertainty that makes you scared of uh, yeah. sharing. Because this is my uh, my developer development computer, so. They're, yeah. Uh, if there's somewhere that secrets would be leaked, it will for sure be here. What's more, uh, not secret, but more uh, stressing is that we use YouTube a lot for to check stuff and how the stuff works and stuff like that. Yeah. And it always shows you ads. Yeah. And if I go to my own private account, which I have paid for, you uh, Google and YouTube, um, you're getting, you know, watched. Yeah. Recommend <laughs> this is that. Can <laughs> That's yeah. how, how you read what type of person uh, yeah, you yeah, are, yeah, yeah. based on what ads pop up for you. So, uh, yeah, I think most of what I watch on uh, YouTube is like the Norm MacDonald or comedy clips or how to, you know, do certain game stuff. Yeah. I think that's pretty much it. Still very, quite intrusive. They should uh, have some sort of, um, just no recommendations. You can actually turn all that off. I've done that for all my... Uh, Work, work accounts. Really? I've turned every type of uh, recommendation stuff up, so all my Google and YouTube ads are all just generic. Interesting. Whatever is the most popular at the moment. Because you kind of have the same approach to me when it comes to you know, social media and digital footprint. <laughs> Try to keep mine as light as possible. Yeah. I, I mostly just don't... I don't like when I browse something for like a day. Yeah. Say like how to solder or something like that because I'm doing yeah. some like trans project and then for the upcoming week Yeah, I only get like soldering youtubers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so it kind of just I, I Can always see how, how the algorithm is trying to like give me certain things and that just yeah. annoys me Like I think people are more wary about the digital footprint they lead. So I, a few years ago like two years ago I uh, 
like YouTube, I don't know when they did, they, maybe they had it for years, but they added an easy way to see all your comments and likes. Mm, yeah. So you can see that in your history. So I I found all my YouTube comments, which wasn't that many, but still a few. Yeah. And, um, well, it wasn't anything I was ashamed of, but it was just felt a bit, you know, oh, this yeah. is a great song on some weird, some weird shit song 10 years ago. Yeah. So I went through all of them and just deleted them. Yeah. But I still have my likes. Oh, you still have those? Yeah, so, um, yeah. And I'm doing a, a sort of a, on, on Twitter right now, going through my Twitter account, you know, making sure I don't follow too many people and just trying to uh, clean it up a bit. Yeah. And uh, I paid for this tool to do that uh, easily. I just get lists of everything. And I can actually delete all my tweets. Oh. In just one button. Well, I guess it's are you, are you goddamn sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I can unlike every single tweet that I've uh, liked for the ten years or so. Oh wow! I'm one hundred percent confident I haven't liked anything that would get me in trouble. Like if I were to be, you know, a government official someday. Yeah. Pretty sure I have, you know, pretty decent, you know, <laughs> grasp on reality. But still, I don't know. It's so much, so much out there. Are we yeah. backtracking to the beginning now? I'm, um, uh, oh, I did. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, actually, for high school, we, um, they made us use Facebook for um, all our classes. Oh. That was back when, that was when Google Drive just first, like, came out. Yeah. Um, so we were kind of, Google sponsored the school, like, hey, use our tools and you get free. So everything was... You know, they're trying to go full digital and everything. So we use Google and Facebook and everything, which means that now, 15 years later, I can go back and uh, find that old stuff. Uh, everything I did, every comment I made on anybody's school project and like my classmates' old school yeah. projects are still circling around there, which is uh, it's nothing really like hidden, but if somebody wants to or yeah. gets access to, they can get a lot of people's private lives uh, dug up there. Yeah, I actually tried to clean up my uh, Facebook account as well a few years ago, and I did that to a certain extent, but they have a bug in the uh, Facebook backend. Mm. So what happens is if you like a page and it gets removed or renamed, I'm not sure, any of those situations, yeah. you can't unlike it because oh. it doesn't exist. Oh, right. And, um, I read a few notes about you should approach this, and it's basically a lot of work to, to um, follow something that doesn't exist anymore. And right. To reach out to support and stuff like that. Very annoying. Because, you know, back in the golden ages when social media was fun, yeah. you just like all the kind of weird stuff. Not weird, but, you know, yeah. uh, whatever musicians or stuff like that. Yeah. Um, but I. And the only way to unlike stuff in Facebook is to go through every single thing you did on the 14 years or so you had Facebook and uh, manually remove them. Yeah, you which... don't want to go down that road. No, I think if I were to like do, you know, 100 a day, I would probably spend hours, weeks, months. Yeah. So I guess I'll just leave it there. Just let it be. And you can delete your Facebook account as well. Yeah, no. Can you unlist it, I think? Like, yeah, I think so. They will always keep some sort of copy of it around. Yeah, That's scary stuff. Well, well, I'm thinking now what if my uh, son, when he's 20, if he wants to uh, Google me. Yeah, I've had that uh, talk before about uh, how it's going to be in a, yeah with your son uh, on social media. No, but in uh, like a thousand years from now. Yeah. If people in school are supposed to do, you know, research on a certain time, like, they can get an individual and go, like, document the month of their life. Yeah. And you can go through their Facebook posts or, uh, yeah. or post whatever they've done and kind of, like, track their lives. Yeah. It'd be, uh, it'd be an interesting time to live in a thousand years if uh, the world is still around. Yeah. I guess there's going to be so much more information, so no one's going to bother, I guess. Yeah, I don't think, yeah. But it's going to be a lot easier to see what people were thinking back in the day. Yeah. Of course, a little bit tainted with uh, bots and uh, that kind of stuff. But... We've gone through these areas now. I think we... Should we go down left instead? Um... Is there a left in the beginning? Not sure. 
Yeah, because I've been here. It's funny that we are uh, broadcasting this on um, YouTube, sorry, on Twitch and then uploading it to YouTube while at the same time complaining about leaving a digital footprint. Yeah. Because if anything, this is going to be accessible for the future, I guess. Yeah. I don't mind digital footprinting myself around. It's, uh... I, no. I think invasive, like doing to people even though I want to, but Sweden in general is kind of... It's very easy to find people live here, for example, because all those records are public here in Sweden. Yeah. So it's uh, you can even get people's uh, criminal records and stuff printed out for you. Yeah. We've been we've been kind of exposed here in, uh, in Sweden forever. <laughs> Can't be exposed to Sweden <laughs> forever. Um. Okay, so th why is this so challenging? This area. I think we're. Uh, I think. Probably just overthinking it. Go down here or Is there anything down there? I don't know, there's more. No, oh, just if anyone has tips. Yeah, have you seen any um secrets? Yeah. Seen any secrets then. Pick your health by the way, was that Check your health. You better check yourself. Yeah. Because you could have refilled. Yourself. Oh yeah. You just got I'm so up. used to uh, <laughs> to not spending the money at the merchant. It's not like when I play that you refill on every single uh, blast so. through all the money. I'm just gonna see. Because all the secrets have been quite easy to Yeah, it's not been a bit crazy one. Would, would would it make sense for the game to have some sort of super hidden secret? So that's how, you, how they get you. <laughs> that's how they get you. Yeah. Or something. Oh. Would it be weird for them to hide it pretty well as well? Yeah. Okay. Oh. We were here before, right, as well. We'll have to um, wrap it up. I guess we could shift some guy as well. Uh, if we have one secret, I don't want to leave. I mean, if if someone finds this video in a thousand years, that will be the they'll be very disappointed if we if we <laughs> ended on a one hundred percent run on like the ninety nine percent. Would that be? It's like the ultimate joke. So nothing here because this was some sort of boss room, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, I think so. Here, because we've been here as well. I'm just gonna see, because somewhere around here is where you loop out of the area, right? I think so, yeah. But here, we're gonna be. Not sure. Not sure, because the chest doesn't. I think you go here, right? Just back to the beginning. Yes, yeah, back to the beginning. Yeah. How do we get back to the beginning so easily? I don't know. It seems so strange. We like to travel through a forest, stuff to the right, and then we're just all the way to the left again. I have no idea. Okay, should we. Um... Maybe go through the mouth. Have we been at the other end? I can't remember us seeing the other part of mm -hmm. the. Um... Not for a while at least. Wait, this is here. Yes, we were here today. Can't us being here. Not today. <laughs> Definitely not here. Oh, we was here. Um, no way we were over here. This kind of okay, so... mind to myself. Hmm. This looks like something to the left. This there. is the exit, right? Yeah. What's that to the left bottom? I said no, that's the secret with the pushing down the block. Can you push that big block uh, to the left and uh, push it to the left instead of to the right? Okay. 
exciting gameplay exists. Yeah. No. Hmm. Because we were here before as well. But the chest respawns, so... And here we... Yeah, we saw that. Well, maybe loop. down there. Yeah, but this just loops us back to the oh, uh, okay. bottom of the um, lizard. What about up here to the left? Okay, I definitely think we should... Um, it's not cheating if we don't show it on the stream. Exactly, if we don't know we're looking it up. I don't mind. What should I cheat? Okay. Just check this area and then we'll check if you want to. Uh. Yeah. Maybe you could look it up on your phone or something. My phone? What do you think I'm a. Uh... So they don't have to stare at us staring at a screen? <laughs> yeah, sure. Like, it would be clever to hide it up here, but. They haven't done it so no, far. No, that's a bit. It's gonna save here. But we're going the wrong way now, but that that might be good, I don't know. Yeah, it gives us a different perspective. A unique perspective. It's always funny to play something in the not intended direction. Yeah. And to find quite a lot of... Oh, uh, I forgot that I'm underwater. Oh. Come on, dude. What are we even missing? It must be one of those uh, stone runes, right? Beating there? No. Nope. That was the door used for the puzzle here in this area. Mm. Yeah, first we need to realize what we're missing. Okay, should I use my telephone device? Cellular device, yeah. Uh, otherwise, I think it might be easy to uh, find some sort of guide. I could use my phone actually while you still look. Isaac like knows that I'm an old guy who doesn't like to Nah, I figure since you're, you're already playing. I don't the um, Joy Master devs know that we have um, tracking us on our... What? What was that? That's uh, This. Check this out. Oh, nice. It's the camera snapping. <laughs> camera snapping. Triangle time. Okay, so, okay, should we... Oh, we're look looking for the armor. Oh. So that might be... Hmm. Okay, so, armor. That should be easy enough. Yeah, so now I know what to... How to cheat through this. <laughs> we're, we're no strangers to looking stuff up. I'm just gonna go to the left here just to have something to do. Have we interacted with the statue? Yeah. Yeah, we have. We have. Yeah. I can skip it. Okay, so we're. I'm just gonna see what happens if I go here. Still. Alright, so it seems like you wanna go to the. Secret passage. Didn't allow me to choose. Oh, it didn't? I don't think so. I did miss oh, it. yeah, you need to go to the, um, I mean, the skeleton mouth. Okay, so. I, think. I go to the location, three out of four. And, okay, so find some sort of skeleton, skeleton mouth, which I think was. Yeah, it's down so left. It's gonna be interesting to see what we missed. Oh, here, yeah, so here's the skeleton thing. Yeah. Um, and you wanna walk down there to the right? Here? Yeah. Speed run? Let's see if I can make it then there. Down before. to the left again. Down here? Yeah. And this is just out of my memory. I gotta 
Got a feeling. Have we been? I can't must be here. And down to the water and to the right. Yeah, but I don't think we've been here. Oh, we haven't? Oh, I don't think so. Oh, and through there. Okay. But we missed this for some reason. Oh, wait. No. Not through there. Keep going. Sneaky. You wanna make sure yeah, I wanna, I wanna make it interesting for the viewers. But yeah, just continue to the right. And through the wall. Because we definitely missed this area for some reason. Yeah. Okay, so if anyone's watching, uh, please, please forget about this part. Yay. There we go. How satisfying. <laughs> <laughs> see, oh, so what what happens now because we've uh, oh it swapped us back to it. Interesting. Didn't they actually realize you could change swords? Yeah, just in case you want a worse off weapon and armor. Alright, so that should conclude if we go like get. And we all make a check here to see if we've look! Tough boy achievement boy. for getting all the armor pieces. Yeah, so four out of four, four out of four, six out of six, four out of four. Out of five, four and four, five, five, four, four, and zero, zero. All right. Nice. I think if we go and press main menu, yeah. Only nine and a half hours. That. Looks like a um, Zelda inventory screen of some yeah. sort. Yeah. Blasted full of stuff. All right. I think that's going to conclude it for today. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll be back next week with either Alva's Awakening 8-bit edition on Evercade, or maybe that's going to be the week after. Or if if we can't find the, uh, or we find someone else game for some other game for next week if we can't do Alva's Awakening. It kind of depends on if we get the copies or not. Yeah. And thank you so much for um, everyone for joining us and yeah. for watching us stream Oulas, and thank you, Joe Master, for making a cool game. Yeah. Thank you all, and uh, we'll see you next week with the uh, game. Yes. Cheers. Bye.